Record to the cloud. Okay. 703. So let's 704. We'll call the meeting to order. This is a Plymouth Town Council regular meeting. It's September 1st, 2020. And we are at a virtual Zoom location, wherever you may be. Um, we're going to do the Pledge of Allegiance. Now, we'll just have one person say the pledge. John, is that going to be you? I guess so. And Tricia, you're going to, I mean, who's waving the flag? Joe, John, it's all you. Let me get up here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Anybody hear me? Yes. Yep. All right, I just got a mental break. break. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. In God we trust. I, I, I'm all goofed up here. Wait a minute. Oh, go ahead. Finish it for me, Trish. I'll do it, Trish. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Now you got me all up here. <laughs> and to the republic for which it stands. Stands one nation under God. For liberty and justice for all. Thank you, John. That was a we got through it. Uh, I, uh, plus, we, plus, we can still say under God, so that's a really that's good. right. Under God is right. Better. <laughs> may God bless the United States of America. And may God bless the town of Plymouth. Um, item number five is going to be acceptance of the minutes. We've got two minutes to accept, so. We'll do them one at a time. If we can, we can accept the minutes of July 7th, 2020, the regular me, me, uh, me, meeting minutes. Can we have a, a motion to do that? So move. And we have second. a second by Sue. And all in favor? Aye. All Aye. Favor? Thank you. Now, can we have a, a motion to approve the, uh, the special mi minutes from August 11th? So moved. Okay. Second. Uh, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, uh, public comment. Do we have anybody from the public here that would like to make a comment on any non-agenda item? Anybody from the public? Anybody from the public make a comment on any agenda item? Seeing none, um, I'll do a quick mayor's report. Um, the beefalo is still on the run. And I thought you've all read about that. This beefalo has become somewhat of a folk hero in town. Um, it's, uh, it's funny, he was spotted last night. Uh, my sister actually was driving up Route 72 and the beefalo ran in front of her car. So she's, he's right in the area. I think he crosses the street to get some water. Then he's, he's right around where that trailer is. He's in that area. They tried to catch him yesterday uh, to no, with no luck. And um, but honestly, my money's on the beefalo at this point. I, I want to see the beefalo get caught, and I want to see him taken, and I want to see him get put out to pasture, and, and that's the end of it. So I hope, that he, I hope he survives all this. I think he's earned it. He was... He was Within five minutes of his demise, and now he is a folk hero. I saw on, on the uh, internet today somebody's got uh, they're selling uh, T-shirts, uh, you know, with the with it says the big picture of the beefalo on it, and it says you know run with the beefalo. And people are writing in they want it they want to change the um, uh, the name of Main Street to Beefalo Boulevard. They're looking to change the kangaroos from the kangaroos to the beefalo. So we got a lot of. Um, a lot of good stuff going on with the beefalo. So he is he is still out there on the run at this point tonight. Um, just a quick thing. I'm going to try and do a do a Facebook post here tomorrow. But we are um, uh, the water main from Route 72 and Route 6, right at that intersection right there, is going to start to be installed next week. They were going to shut that road down. Uh, we met with them, and they are no longer going to do that. But what they're going to do next week on Tuesday is they're going to work from, just like they did on, on the other side, going up Main Street, they're gonna work from 7 p.m. to 5, 5 a.m. And they promised us they would be out of there at 5 a.m. in the morning, so traffic will flow during the day. Uh, the businesses up there are very happy that they weren't, they're not, they're not gonna close down that road. They're gonna do that from Route 72 up to Kearney Street. And, and when they get to Kearney Street, 
then they're going to do alternating traffic. They're going to have, they'll have a police officer on both ends and then they're going to have flaggers in the middle for the, uh, for the streets that come out and they're going to do alternating traffic. So we'll never close down route, um, route six, but we will close it from, from, from 7 p.m. to 5 a.m. the next morning. So we're going to have to work around that. It's going to be a little bit of a pain, but we've got to get the water main in. Um, and the, the detour is going to be down Bushnell Street. It's going to go from Bushnell down to School Street over and come back on 272. The, I know that the people that live over there in that area in, in Pequabic are not going to be happy about it because there'll be, there'll be big trucks coming down in that area and it's not probably not going to be the best of a situation, but it's better than having them shut it down for the entire day. So it will be um, just from seven o'clock at night to five o'clock in the morning until they get to Kearney Street. Uh, our police captain was appointed after our last meeting. And, um, and I am going to tell you the truth that he's going to make a difference down there. He really is going to make a difference. I, you know, I think he has the respect of the men um, down there. And um, I think he'll do a really, really good job. Um, our salt storage facility is coming along pretty well. If anybody's been up by there, they can see all the walls are up. They did the paving this morning. They paved the inside of it with the with I think just a, just a binder coat, um, and they'll come back and they'll you know they'll finish paving that. Uh, the um, the roof rafters are due in on Thursday, so as of Thursday they're going to um, start to put that roof on there. So I think it'll go very quick. I would think it up by another another few weeks they'll have that thing all buttoned up and ready to go. Um, just an FYI, the uh, the clerical unit has decertified with the union that they were with, and they um, had, an, had an election year yesterday or the day before, and they're going to be represented by the Teamsters. The Teamsters um, are, are the union for the for public works, and now they will represent our clerical union at the same time. Um, and I think we had a question last time, so I got a little update here here for you with our money collected, our taxes that were collected. Um, as of 8:31, uh, we've collected 16.7 million dollars so far this year. As of 831, um, as of 8:31 of 19, we collected 16.7 million dollars. So far this year, we're at 15 million dollars. Um, so slightly over 10 percent reduction in the revenue this this year so far. Um, Luckily, we already we have already projected a slight decrease in our revenue so th this year. So if you go by projected revenue as of 831, we were we were at 54.08, and as of now we are at 48.61. So that's about a 5.5 percent reduction in what we would normally receive here at this point in time. So that's not too bad. Um, it's still a little bit too early to tell how big of a hit we're going to take. Um, take if uh, how big of a hit we will take this first collection period since it goes until 10-1. Uh, most years, September, October are pretty light months. So, collect, so for collections, uh, if there's any, anybody waiting to pay, and I believe there's gonna be some people waiting to pay, we should, we should knock out some of that uh, deficit as we get closer to uh, October. So how much remains to be seen? And we'll know a little bit early next month. So we're off the mark a little bit, but we're not off the mark a tremendous amount. Um, and hopefully that's going to, we'll close that gap as we get closer to October and people know how far they can, how far they can wait. Um, you know, I should have, I should have changed something. I, you know, I, I messed up here because then they, we had adoption of the, of the agenda. You guys received today some additional names with, that, that we just received tonight about, I don't know, three or four o'clock that Trish emailed to you. Um, so we, you, we have some listed on the, um, um, on the agenda, <coughs> and what I'd like to motion a motion to <coughs> approve those tax refunds for the people that are on the agenda, plus the people that you received um, a list of tonight about four o'clock. Everybody received that list, I'm assuming. Yes. 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 So, could I have a motion to approve the? Um, the tax refunds as stated this date on this uh, council regular meeting. So moved. Second. second. Discussion, all in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Thank you. Um, okay. 
Any other business? Does anybody have any other business? That, you know, I, I'm skipping all over the place here tonight. I skipped over to finance director report, which we have none tonight because this is only the second of September. The the day the month just closed um, Monday, so we won't have any director's report until later in the month. And I can have her get that to you if you need it. Um, on number eleven, any any other business? Anybody else have any any other business that they would like to bring up uh, at this point? Hearing none. And any time, how about the town council liaison reports? Um, let's go around as you're on my on my uh, screen here, Sue. Any any liaison? I don't have anything tonight. No liaison reports. Tom, any uh, John? Any li liaison? No, nothing tonight. Uh, Tom, anything? No, nothing to report. No. No, no, no liaison reports. Any town council comments? Anybody have any comments that they want to would like to make here at this point? Seeing none, um, I would like to make a motion to go into executive session because this is where the bulk of what of, of the of our business tonight is going to be executive session. Um, I, so well, first I'm gonna take a motion to go into executive session and then I'm going to, to, to go into the room like we did last time and everybody needs, everybody should see something on their, on their screen and they need to click that so we can go into executive session and then come back. I don't think we'll be there long, but we, who knows. So and Mo, can somebody make a motion to go into executive session? So Are we sir. inviting in the town attorney? And we're gonna invite in the town attorney, I'm sorry. Um, we got a motion, Joe. Okay. We, we have a second. Second, I'll. Second, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, now I'm gonna try this, hopefully it works. I'm gonna go into, into the breakout rooms and then I hope that everybody will, will, will go in there and then I'll go in there last, I think, if I can. Ready? Uh, create breakout room. I'm gonna invite the people into the breakout room here. Um, Did you guys get something on your screen? No. No. How come? I don't know. Share screen. Re record. Tricia, you got any any idea what I'm doing wrong here? I just uh, uh, breakout room to. No. Did you click the breakout room? The icon. Um, what are you seeing, Mayor? Well, I got the breakout room not started, right? I want to. Um, bear with me, everybody. I'm sorry. I did it one time and it was, it was supposed to be good. So we're going to assign to. Can you hear me? Who's, that? Who's this? This is Sally Bain Picard. Yes, Sally Baines Picard. I I was attending the meeting. Um, it was never noted, and I was wondering, do I do I go off and then go back in to hear the rest of the meeting after your executive session? If I can't figure out how we're going to do this, that's that's what that's exactly what we're going to do. But Are I. You I, I are you on the nav, the nav, the tab? Yeah. Well, you, you know when I when I clicked on that, Trisha, it, it's got it's got everybody. It's got breakout room is number. Setting, one. Is the setting enabled? Um, the, the setting has to say enabled. What setting, Trisha? Okay, where it says account. See where you have account settings. You have to click enable. Where Where's account settings? I don't know. Look up. Uh, tell you where mine is. Um, hold on. Jeez, I'm not running. I'm not running the meeting, so I can't see it from here. Here, I'll make you. I'll make you the um, the, the co-host. How's that? Sure. I apologize, everybody. I, I did this once, and it worked really, really well. Host, uh, invite link. Um, make co-host. Co 
All right, so you're the co-host. Tell me if you can get us into. Yeah, I'm looking for. I'm looking to see where I've got it on mine. Uh, one second. Just go to my account. One second. Uh, settings. Settings. I'm in settings. Let me just check and enable. John, did you just get a thing on your on your computer? John? No, I'm looking. I don't see it. It hasn't popped up yet. How about, how I know about we're you? not in because we have 12 participants. How about you, Tom? Did you get anything? It's not showing. I'm in my account settings, but it's not showing because even though I am the co-host, I think it's only going to show for you. Oh. As stupid as that sounds, but you know, this as as bad as this is, and I, I apologize to everybody, but if we could do the only other way that I know how to do that is ask everybody, ask uh, Lisa and Nate and Sally um, to leave the meeting and then. And then try to get back in, and I'll let you in as soon as the as soon as the session is over. Can we do that? Sure, it sounds great. Let's have everybody just just leave the meeting, and then immediately come back in. And once the once we're over, I'll get everybody back in. I'm sorry, it's not showing the account setting on mine and just mine. Okay, it's we're everybody. down to nine. Okay. I, okay, are you going to text me when you want me to come back, or? Um, you know, why don't you try to come back in? Just go out and then and then and then try okay. to come back in, and then I will let you in because you'll be in the waiting room. Okay. That's a dumb way to do it. I apologize, everybody, but last time I did it, only did it once, and, and it worked. So, anyway, that we've got one, two, three, four. So we got everybody here, right? So you know the things that basically you have you have an idea of what we want, and I don't know how much talking the only do. I think most of you most of you know what we're trying to do. Um, the first thing that we need, to do is we need to to approve the real estate contract to Man. sell um, to sell lot number five on Swickless Court to um, Thomaston Siteworks, and they're actually C A L A L L C. Correct, Bill? That's that, that's that's what their name is. So we're gonna we're going to uh, the motion will be for somebody if if you're writing this down, Stu or somebody, to to sell the lot five on Swickless Court. Um, Terryville, Connecticut, to E A L A Cala L L C for the sum of seventy eight thousand dollars. Hey, do you want do you, do you want that recording? Are you still recorded or no? Um, you're probably right. I should probably. Um... Thank you. Okay, so we're recording again. We finished executive session. And, um, we are back. In, we are back in session at 7:37. Now, uh, the next item is to take action, maybe necessary from executive session. A lot of noise. Somebody's making noise. Dan, are you rowing a boat there? What are you doing? Oh, he muted himself. We're good now. Okay. I'm out on the deck. It's probably the wind. Do you hear the wind? Yeah, it's the wind. I have a motion. Um, motion to approve the real estate contract between the town of Plymouth and Kala LLC for the sale of lot five on Swickless Court. And that would be in the amount of $78,000. I'll second that is the uh, we got a motion and a second and dan that's the property that being purchased by thomas and site works at the end of swiftless court yeah i read uh, the paperwork um oh, you know i did read it through it sorry i joined late so let's just do uh let's just do roll call for these things so we make sure we get them right here um all in favor sue yes john yes tom yes joe Yes. Dan. Dan, do you want to vote on these? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, I did read it. Yep. Okay. All right. I have uh, another motion uh, to approve the tax abatement agreement for development at lot five Swickles Court by and between the town of Plymouth and Kala LLC. We have a second for that motion. Second by Joe. 
Uh, all in favor, Sue? Yes. John? Yes. Tom? Yes. Joe? Yes. Danny? Yes. Okay. Uh, I have another motion, uh, tax abatement agreement for development at Prospect Street School between the Town of Plymouth and Prospect Ridge, LLC. Second. Okay, motion and second for the Prospect Street School. This is, uh, Dan, we talked about this. This is the last obstacle that's in our way before we can sell this, this tax abatement then Bill will work on, on a closing. So yep. all in favor of the, of the tax abatement for Prospect Street School, Sue? Yes. John? Yes. Tom? Yes. Joe? Yes. Dan? Yes. Okay. Another motion uh, to approve the contract between the Town of Plymouth and the United Public Service Employees Union representing the Plymouth Police Union, effective July 1st, 2020, and ending June 30th, 2024. I'll second that. Motion by Sue, a second by Joe. All in favor of the motion, Sue? Yes. John? Yes. Tom? Yes. Joe? Yes. Dan? Yes, and I know you didn't, you didn't hear a lot about it, Dan. If you if you're when you're back in town, if you if you call me, I will go over the the um, the changes and stuff with you that we have in this thing. Just gotta call me. I know if you're if you're at the beach tomorrow, you won't be able to. But when you get back in town, give me a holler, and we'll. It looks like you got a, you got a nice a nice view from where you are. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it is a beautiful uh, view of the ocean. Yep. Um, that's all I have. And again, I just want to say that, you know, I know that it, there wasn't a lot on here, but these were things, these, these four items took a lot of time, you know, Prospect Street schools were taking a lot. This contract took a lot. And, and this was, uh, this was, uh, we, we accomplished a lot here tonight. It may not seem it, but it did. Now we'll be able to move forward. So, um, with that, we're going to go on to number 16, motion to adjourn. So move. And we got a second by somebody. Second. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, everybody. Thank you very nice much. Nice job, Dave. Stay safe. Bye-bye. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Bye.